Hey guys, we are back at the beach because for this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn a palm leaf into a cool little fishing toy that you can actually cast. All you're gonna need for this project is one single palm leaf. You can see it kind of folds down in a V-shape with this hard yellow ridge line. If we follow that down far enough, we're gonna find it thins out. And what we wanna do is just take our nail and we wanna actually peel this thing off. Find the tip and slowly peel off that ridge line. And if you pinch the leaves as you do, you should be able to keep them intact and just very gently pull that entire ridge line off of the leaf. Make sure you're really gentle when you rip this off because we need the leaves and we are gonna be using this later. This thing's kind of like a little whip and that's great because that's pretty much what we're going to be using it for in a minute. Near the top it gets really flimsy and we don't really need that so you can go ahead and break it off. But where it starts to get firm you want to loop that over into a circle and then just twist that back on itself three or four times because what that's going to do is it's going to hold the circle in position so that it won't unravel. And if you give it a little bit of a tug it'll start to tighten in on itself and that's what we're looking for right there. Just a little circle a little bit bigger than your thumb. Alright now go ahead and set that to the side because now it's time to make our fish. So now if you look at your palm leaf, you're going to see it's been split into two different pieces. Just go ahead and give it a tug to separate them because we're going to be using each of these individually. Now what you're looking for is a palm leaf that's somewhere around an inch thick. It doesn't have to be exact, but somewhere around that size is going to be perfect. Take your first leaf and put it straight into your palm and then hold it in place with your thumb. You want to see that there are a couple inches overlapping underneath your hand. Then take the leaf and wrap it back and through your pointer finger and your middle finger and hold it in place. And you also want to have a loop a couple inches tall. Now just do that same thing again, make a loop, bring it back, hold it with your fingers, and then you can use your thumb to hold everything in place. So we've essentially just made two loops, and that is the end of step one. Take the base of the second leaf and push it through the center circle, but bring it to the outside of the first circle, and then pull it all the way through about a foot. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna weave in and out and in and out, and to do that, we're gonna go inside this loop, and then we're gonna go to the outside of the second loop, we're going to bring it all the way around, then we're going to go inside the first loop, pull it tight, and you're going to see this loop's going to want to pop off. So hold that down with your middle finger, then bend the leaf around, push it through the center, and pull it through. All we have to do now is pull these tight by slowly working individual leaves, and what that's going to do is eventually work itself down into a cool little fish shape. One more little tug should tighten everything up and hold everything securely in place. All right, so our little fish is starting to look pretty good. All we have to do is trim up his fins a little bit and put them on a stick, and we're just about done. Now, if you look at the palm leaves, you can see that all the fibers run horizontally. And if you pinch with your thumb, you can kind of dig into it and pull away, and it will just follow that strand, leaving a little bite mark out of the leaf. Do that a couple more times, just staggering where you pinch it, and what you're ultimately gonna be doing is trimming down the fins and giving it a cool little fin effect. For these inside fins, I like to start on the inside and just repeat that process. Just stagger where you make those cuts. Boom, just like that, our little fishy is done. So guys, we got our fish, we got our rod, and all we have to do now is bring the two together. Now to add the rod, just split the fins at the back and push through that little hole until you can see the rod poking through the tip of the fish's mouth. Then you just wanna pull all the way through until you see that little circle disappear into the fish's belly. Now bend the stick back around and push it through the hole in the top fin until it comes out the hole in the bottom fin and just give it a little tug and that puts your little fish on a stick. These things make really cool toys for the kids because watch this, if you grab the rod at the bottom and give it a little flick, you can cast your line and catch a fish just like that. How awesome is that? Then just push your rod back up to reset it and you can cast it again. Now there's one more cool trick you can do with these fish. If you've made one of these headbands I showed you in another video, take the base of the stick and just push it down through the front and it makes a cool little decoration for your kids. If you look closely, it's kind of like he's got a fishing line coming right out of his mouth. So that's pretty cool and really simple to make. So there you have it guys. That's how to use one single palm leaf to make a really cool Polynesian fishing toy. Thanks so much for joining me for this experiment and I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then.